going on? That fucking rat Stoker has gone public about Brenda. Who is Brenda? Brenda is LA's most famous madam. Everyone knows it? Of course everyone knows. Brenda pays her way. Are we cops or a collection agency? Ors have been around since the Bible. Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. Then we should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution. Except when they're using them. So where does Stoker come in? He objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is everyone in on this? Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. He could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. Aren't you supposed to be working the... Sir, do you know which robbery detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Coolidge? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. This way. Harry, you got a minute? Sure, Cole, any time. You've been working the docks robbery on the SS Coolridge? Yeah, that's right. So how do you see it? Inside job. Either the guys working the wharves or some of the guys on the ship. What else was taken apart from the morphine? Case of BARs, case of Thompsons, crate of Valor smokes. Homicide just recovered three BARs and a mountain of cigarettes at a shooting at the 111 Club. No kidding. I better get over there. Do you have a copy of the manifest? Yeah. Here it is. So, how do we connect the docks robbery to the mess at the 111 Club? Here's our backroom arsenal from the 111 Club. This is the crate we recovered. Half a million Surrettes loose on the streets of L.A. Enough to arm three companies. Some of these guys are from my old unit. They must have finally shipped home. Kelso, Sheldon, McGoldrick. McGoldrick was on the boat? Sure, we checked him out. McGoldrick bought the 111 Club, Harry. His brains are all over the bar. Looks like whoever stole the dope is getting muscled. By whom? Dragner or Cohen. They control the hop. Thanks, Harry. Stay in touch on this. Guy gave his wife a tap, I said. Mouthpiece tore strips off me at the grand jury. I think his name is. You know the way. You can drive. Do we know where we're going? How well did you know the owner? McGoldrick? Well enough. He was in my unit. That's some cruel irony. You survive the war, then get blown to pieces back home. It happens more than you'd think. Young guys trying to adjust to normal life, getting mixed up in the wrong crowds. The kid had just bought a nightclub. I'd say he got mixed up in the right crowds. Until someone filled him full of holes. You don't come into that kind of money that quickly without pissing a few people off. Take a break, boys. We would like them to stay, Miss Lickman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since when have the police cared about dead black men? Good point. We don't. What we care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bo, 
or their knucklehead buddies, Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making enquiries under Stonefurter? I've told you a thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me, Elsa. Roy! How about you get a drink while I see to this? Will you sit down? Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. People are dying of overdoses. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. A lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. I'm not looking to arrest users. I'm after the supply. You just don't get it, do you? Some people can't live without heroin. My partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? I have no idea what you're talking about. The only way you're going to get rid of me is to give me an answer. I knew Cornell. We worked together a few years ago. He loved the music, but the music didn't love him. What does that mean? It means that he just wasn't that good. He was a sad, lonely cat. Boys, take five minutes, please. I need to have a private word with the officer. Why do you ask people to risk talking about a subject that could have them jailed? Drugs are against the law, Elsa. And you're so full of courage, you have never felt ashamed. This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against Nagodic? It's not my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, detective? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better place. Brave words. Very noble. But words are just words, Colfer. She's right. We need to pay a visit to the mixer. Cohen, do you know where to find him? This time of day? You'll find him holding court at the Macambo. He can wait. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, partner. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail.
LAPD, we're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which table? Number three, if you'll follow me. Goddamn Harry thinks he could get fresh in every place. I'll bring you coffee. That cherry pie was delicious. She wants a five star. LAPD, we have some questions Hi, regarding. Mickey. How's it hanging? Fine, just fine, Roy. I see you brought Iga Beaver along. Hope he's not going to put the shakes on me again. Cole Phelps, Mickey Cohen. Good afternoon. <laughs> he has manners. Aren't you a little green for this kid? Me, Johnny Stompanato, Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. Or maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite remember. You're a funny guy, Roy. Haven't I always said what a funny guy Roy is? And how much fun it would be to get together with him sometime? Poor Johnny. He's the dark, sensitive type. He's a serviceman too, Cole. Johnny was in Okinawa. You were in the crotch? Sixth Marines. A lieutenant who won the Silver Star upon Sugarloaf. I've heard of you. Something like that. All right, have we finished flirting? You got something to discuss, Roy? Or are you going to stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? We have some questions. Do I need my lawyer? Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. He had one-third of the shipment. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. So I'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the shipment? Lenny, God rest his soul, was a moron. He was family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. The H is a filthy habit, and I don't condone it. The simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. So you don't know where he got the morphine? Kid. Ask a question you might get an answer to. We believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Coolridge. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. I wouldn't know anything about that. So you haven't heard anything about what happened at the 111 Club? What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the life. Quickly. A few Negroes saying goodbye on the sidewalk will never make the papers, Mickey. But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. Prominent white people popping their clogs makes everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for Schmendricks like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But uh, I'll ask around and I'll get back to you. Hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. We have to cut that dope. It looks bad with people dying. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. We have to put the squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. They don't seem to type the fright that easy. We'll see. Detectives, KGPL's going crazy. Shots fired at 1384 North Bronson. Some guy with an automatic spraying a Hollywood bus. They want every car. Go! I've been in this job 20 years. So I gave him. Yeah, the bumps are you're behind the wheel. Where are we going? All units, officers need help at 1384 North Bronson. 1384 North Bronson, shots fired. Any units to handle, identify. Code 3.
You're covered, pal. Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. LAPD, drop the gun now! Phone number and restaurant table. One of the BARs. I know that guy. Felix Alvaro. He's one of the guys from the ship? His name was on the manifest. Looks like McGoldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. Hey, Alvaro. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. Who's the jughead? This is my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find out what happened. What happened is that someone took a shot at my bus. And the cops turned up and start treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Not much. Uh, the cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. I was down at the 111 Club this morning, waiting for the medical examiner to scrape Eddie McGoldrick's brains off the bar. You want to tell me anything about that? I heard that Eddie came into some money. Too bad he didn't keep a low profile. It was a tough break to get through Okinawa and then have to buy it back home. Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? Felix, we didn't go through Okinawa to come back to this on our streets. I've got the LAPD to keep me safe, right? Me and all my people. We'll be in touch, Felix. You heard that Jack is in LA? I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. Sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, detective. Pretty cool customer. He's been under fire before. You buying a story? Not for a minute. Can you drive to this one? All right, where to?
Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Just a second. Jack Kelso, apartment 4, 1408 North El Centro Avenue, Hollywood. Thanks. You can drive. Jack was a company sergeant. He would never get involved in something like this. We brace him and drag him downtown. It won't work. He's a tough customer. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? Hello, Jack. This is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you'd come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. How have you been, Jack? Cut the crap. Pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in L.A. trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story, boys, but the truth is, I don't give a fuck. You were on the boat, Kelso. What happened? Do you really think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town? Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. You better watch your mouth. Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. And you didn't know that some mobsters blew his brains out last night? No, I didn't. You heard that a crate of BARs went missing? No, I didn't. I saw Felix Alvaro today. Good. How was he? A little pale. One of Mickey Cohen's goons had emptied about 60 BAR rounds into the bus he was driving. A public bus in the middle of Hollywood. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Or do more innocent people have to die? Yeah, and what's in it for you, Cole? Newspapers? More glory? Another promotion? Another medal at the expense of men who fought for their country? Count me out. What do you know about the Army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge, Jack? What I know is that on three separate occasions, you would have been dead if it weren't for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. People are dying because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Now we have guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. Jack, we just want information. 
Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump with his $200 suit and $2,000 car. The tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Shooting Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is a Chris Majewski. Another name from the manifest? How many more friends of yours are going to get plugged today? Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. We go back a long way. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own men. They just walked up and shot the man. Two of them officers, they went that way. Go on, get after him. I can't take the shot from here, Cole. Hit him, Cole, spit him out. Can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps! Step on it, huh? Just give me a little closer. Getting close. Steer him off the tar. Let's see how fast he runs on bare rims. Good, we need to get closer. Hit him. Clear this asshole off the road. An LAPD file. We have a traitor in our midst. All of the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them. We need to get to those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. Can you drive to this one? Do we know where we're going? We have to look at damage limitation. We can't allow that strumpet Brent Allen to bring down the whole administration. 
We've got to put a lid on the press. Can't someone talk to Harry over at the Times? It's too late. The Times would look ridiculous if we dropped the story now. Who is this Stoker? Stoker's a lily white. Nothing that will fix this in the short term. My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda to leave town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's already been taken care of. Mayor? District Attorney? Who is this guy? And what does he want, Horrell? The name's Roy Earl. Detective. Administrative Vice. Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. I have a human interest story. It involves a certain LAPD cop. A hero from the war, who has let his beautiful wife and kids down. Who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore. Who has abandoned his pledge to the LAPD. And his commitment to the public, we all serve. It'd be all over the papers by tomorrow. And you would be off the hook. So what do you want in return, Roy? Fingering a fellow officer. We have to look at damage limitation. We can't allow that strumpet Brenda Allen to bring down the whole administration. We've got to put a lid on the press. Can't someone talk to Harry over at the Times? It's too late. The Times would look ridiculous if we dropped the story now. Who is this Stoker? Stoker's a lily white. Nothing that will fix this in the short term. My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda to leave town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's already been taken care of. Mayor? District Attorney? Who is this guy? And what does he want, Horrell? The name's Roy Earl, Detective, Administrative Vice. Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. I have a human interest story. It involves a certain LAPD cop. A hero from the war, who has let his beautiful wife and kids down. Who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore. Who has abandoned his pledge to the LAPD. And his commitment to the public, we all serve. Could be all over the papers by tomorrow. And you would be off the hook. So what do you want in return, Roy? Fingering a fellow officer. Cohen is meeting with Sheldon tonight. They're taking out all the guys from the ship. Why? How does I get them the dope? They obviously don't know who has the morphine, and they're waiting for someone to crack.
Get in close and steer him off the tar. I can't take the shot from here, Cole. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. Hit it. Clear this asshole off the road. LAPD, put your hands in the air. You know the way. You can drive. Where are we going? Out of the car. Police. As soon as he pokes his head out, we step on it. Stay down. Tell Courtney, B bad luck. <coughs> it was worth a try. It was worth a try. <sighs> God. Polar Bear Ice Company. They really did it. Wonder whether it was worth it. Most people never get the chance to be rich. Wouldn't you risk it?
Beautiful day. Hope we have no trouble. You can drive. All right, where to? Looks like Sheldon is bringing his own fire team with him. Majewski, Beckett, Goldrick, Driscoll, these are good guys. Why did they get wrapped up in this thing? Not everyone has your unwavering restraint in the face of temptation, Cole. You know the way. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? This isn't looking good. I feel like the fat kid at the back of a race. You sure it's Cohen making the hits? All fingers point his way. Your buddies are in way over their heads. Being a Marine doesn't mean shit out here. Stay down. Give me some goddamn cover. How long do you think you can hold out? Find some cover! They're making a run for it after them! Ah! 
I'm gonna put out an APB on every one of the sons of bitches on that. APB on the car 11K, car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. 11 King, go to Hollywood Station. Hey, Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole Phelps. Well, I'll be damned. That's not correct protocol, 11K. I'll take that as a roger. Car 11 King en route. Can you drive to this one? Do we know where we're going? Roy, in my office, if you please. I'm working a major case. I'm that close, Cap. It's gonna have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. But, Cap... No buts. This is more important. You're in interview, too, Phelps. There's a quack in there with him. What gives? Beats me. Word came down from the chief. Said it was okay. I don't know who'd be worse. I want to make homicide. You know you've made it if you can get that desk. He ran the light on Olympic. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Sheldon. Is this your attorney? No, detective. This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He came down here to help me out. How do you do, sir? You stole the morphine from the Coolridge. You can't prove that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student of mine. He has a very bright future. Oh, that's nice to know. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. I would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but that's difficult, considering they're all dead. That leaves you, Sheldon. You can't blame their deaths on me, Phelps. You're training to be a doctor, Courtney. How do you justify all of these deaths? You're supposed to want to save people. Before you get on your high horse, I saved my fair share in Pele Lu and Okinawa. My conscience is clear. How do you sleep at night? You were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes, that's correct. So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. So you don't mind that the mob executed McGoldrick, Driscoll, and Beckett to get to you? I don't know why you're trying to pin this on me. Where's your proof? We finished here, Cole? Have you finished, detective? I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. What are you offering, Cole? Don't be ridiculous, son. 
This man is gambling. What's your offer? Doctor! Good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office, now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty, pending a fitness review. What are you talking about? You heard the man, Phelps. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you wear. You certainly had us fooled, Detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this old man's heart. Sir, what is going on? You're suspended, Phelps. And over your badge and gun. Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromising pictures. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife. Your children. Consorting with the enemy and a dope fiend at that. You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Hand over the gun. Keep your head down until your board hearing. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. What the hell were you thinking? Marie, listen, Marie, I need to explain. Please leave. You're upsetting the girls. Let me see them, Marie. They're my daughters. Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Do you want me to call the police? For God's sake, Marie. Can't we at least talk? What is there to talk about? Do you love her? Do you? What were you thinking? What about our children? Can you imagine what this has been like for them? Go away, Cole. My father has hired an attorney and you will be hearing from him. I'd like to explain, Maria. I'd like to tell you what I've been going through. What you've been going through. I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning. I can't stand it, Cole. Okay, everyone, keep it down. Cole Phelps joins the arson squad today. <laughs> How'd you like porking that German whore, Phelps? <laughs> Phelps is up before a review board in December. Until then, he works the arson desk. End of story. Phelps. Yes, sir. I don't care what you did or didn't do, Phelps. I hear you're a good case man. 
But if you fuck up on my detail, I'll have you out of here before your feet touch the ground. Do we have an understanding? Yes, sir. Cap, we don't want a fucking rat like Phelps. Can it, Tilden? Phelps, I'm partnering you with Herschel Biggs. I don't do partners. You know that, Cap. You do now, Biggs. Social basket cases like you two should get along just fine. Biggs will show you the ropes, Phelps. This is arson. There are no ropes. It shouldn't take long, then. Start with these two. House fires. 326 South Kenmore Avenue. Stefan's family was out of town when it happened. Then go to 4414 Rosewood, family by the name of Sawyer. Fire brigade will be on location. Are they suspicious, Captain? That's for you to find out, Detective. Now get out of here. Both of you. Get out! He ran the light on Olympic, and we finally collared him on Temple. me at the grand jury. Case was thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. Guy gave his wife a test. And I thought this was such a nice area. arson. We gonna do the small talk thing now? Talk baseball, exchange addresses? I don't think so. Feeling down, hotshot? Need a buddy? Or look somewhere else. So this is how it's going to be, partner? I already told you, I don't do partners. I seen you on your first day, hero, walking into the station with your chest puffed out like a little kid at his confirmation. You wouldn't have given me the time of day. And now you need somebody, and that somebody's supposed to be me. Well, it's not gonna happen. That's quite a speech. I heard you were the strong, silent type. You cracking wise, Phelps? No, Biggs. I'm breaking the ice. Just drive, hotshot. much left. There never is if the job's done properly. You think it was deliberate? Nah. That's real pain in her face. They would have moved out the things they care about if this was insurance. There's no mileage in this. Hello, Mike. Hey, Hirsch. Cap this one. Yeah. Mike Brannigan, Cole Phelps. It's okay, Brannigan. His name may be dog shit, but there's none in his hand. No offense, Phelps. None taken. Do you have anything? The fire started late last night. Stefan's family at Catalina Island won some kind of competition. Looks like the only thing they ever won in their lives. When they come home with us. I'd say they were pretty lucky, really. They don't have any insurance. Everything they own, including the house, is not a pile of rubble. Where are they sleeping? In the car. It's lucky the whole block didn't burn down. Where it is, they're bulldozing this whole neighborhood to build new homes for GIs. That's the man in the house. In the ruins. Terry Lady is his wife. I'll take a look around. Come on, Phelps. You solved the case.
Seems irrelevant. Not sure this means much. Doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> Mr. Stevens? Cole Phelps and Herschel Biggs, LAPD. I know it's a difficult time, but could we have a word? Don Stevens. You were out of town. We won a prize. We had a wonderful time. Came home to this. Do you still have the tickets? Sure. It's a formality, but we'll need to speak to the issuing agent. Can you tell me any more about the prize that you won, Mr. Stephens? A weekend at Catalina Island. My uh, wife got this flyer in the mail from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Did you enter any kind of competition? Well, my wife filled in a flyer. Lady just rung up and told us we won. It's the first time I ever won anything. The redevelopment fund. Did they offer to buy you out? They're building new houses. They showed their money and most of the neighborhood just packed up and walked away. But I never bargained with them. GI houses? Yeah, something like that. That's all we need for the moment, Mr. Stephens. All right. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need information on the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Yes, Detective. Just checking. The fund is a semi-government agency established to speed up the building of GI homes. It has private investors as well as a government endowment. Huh. You have an address for them. There is one listed here, corner of Beverly and Mariposa. Thank you. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? Recently serviced. Could be something to go on. You're behind the wheel. And where exactly are we going? Have there been any other house fires? This is arson. We get an average of two a night. Does that answer your question?
Hi, Albert. We've got this case. Hey, Biggs. We? You have a partner? What gives? This is Cole Phelps. You may have read about him. Oh, now I get it. Hello, Phelps. Welcome to the netherworld of ours. Family of four found dead in their beds. Heater explosion. Hey, another one? Looks that way. Insta Heat Model 70. Before you get excited, we get a couple of water heaters a month go back. Take a look around the yard and see what you can find. Mal. You gonna stick it out, Cole? I'm gonna try, Mal. What have you got? Family by the name of Sawyer. Mother, father, and two kids. All in bed from the looks of it. Oh, I'd say carbon monoxide poisoning. The burns are superficial. Time of death? I'd say about midnight. Anything more exact will take some time to determine. Lynch tells me this has something to do with a faulty water heater. Could be. There's been a spate of problems with a particular brand. I've got another angle in mind. You care to elucidate, Detective? This is a murder and not an accident. Sharing information has helped us solve quite a few cases together. I need something concrete, Mal, before the department gets wind of it. I'm in arson for a reason. I feel sorry for your wife and kids, Phelps, not for you. But you're a good case, man. One of the best I've ever met. I'll help in any way I can. Thanks, Mal. I'd say that's firm but fair. How about the insurance companies write these incidents up as acts of God? Hey, Biggs, is this significant? Regulator valve. Good find. Detectives, this is the next door neighbor. Detective Phelps, can you help? They were supposed to be going away. They won a trip somewhere. But little Henry got sick, so they had to cancel. What are the chances? Do you know who ran the competition? Gulliver's Travel, up on Santa Monica Boulevard. Thanks. You've been a big help. Phelps. Across the street. I've seen him before. He likes fire. Hurry, you can still catch him! Stop! LAPD! We've got an ID on you, firebug! Stop right there! What's your name? Herbert Chapman. So you like fires? Some. Watching them or setting them? I don't want any trouble. Turn out your pockets. You're not in fire, aren't you, Herbert? I keep myself to myself. Cigarette in a matchbox gives you a five or six minute delay. You want more time, you use a mosquito coil. Don't you, Herbert? 
You light this fire, Herbert. Hell no. I heard it over the fire radio. Sounded sweet. When you finish following your leads, come and see me at the fire station. I have a theory about this. Will do, Lynch. Take this guy in. We might want him for questioning later. You got it, Detective. Why have you got such a hard on for this case? If it is murder, it's almost impossible to prove. Fire doesn't leave much evidence. There's no percentage in this. I think it's more than one case. They're house fires, Cole. Accidents, heater fires, gas explosions. There's got to be a reason. The reason is you want to be a star again. Forget it. Give it up. You'll feel better. There's something to this. I know it. What are you talking about? Arson is insurance. It's always been insurance. We still investigate the cases, Biggs. The people in this house are dead. Go soak your head, Phelps. This hero business is a full-time obsession with you. I'm gonna make this case. I'm gonna rub the department's nose in it. Help me, or stay out of my way. You got it? I'd rather get there in one piece. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. John Cunningham, can I help you, gentlemen? We have reason to believe that the Sawyer family of 4414 Rosewood Avenue recently won a competition run by your company. Yes, I remember them. They called up to cancel at the last minute. One of the kids was sick. Very unfortunate. Do you mind if I take a look at that? The Sawyer family, Rosewood Avenue. Here they are, Steffens. Tell us about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. There's not much to tell. They run a promotion. Our promotions mailing list covers half of LA. So they are not a government agency? <laughs> I don't believe so. Government organizations don't usually get involved in promotions. I'm told the tickets were a prize. Yes, they were. You do a lot of these prizes. Look, there are hundreds of these promotions running at any one time. If you're the lucky guy, you get your name pulled out of a hat. How does it really work? A company wants to promote a product. They send out flyers, customer phones or writes in that they have the winning number. Simple. Thanks for your help. Uh, no problem. Wish I could do something for that family. You could put round the hat. A few bucks would really help them now. I suppose so. Good. I'll put you down for 50. I could tell you were Samaritan the minute I walked in the 50? door. 50? Are you? Good man, Cunningham. You're all right. Yeah, I'm great. Poorer, but great.
Let me guess. You want to check out the suburban address. Great partners must think alike, Herschel. This is supposed to be the registered offices of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. This is an Elysian housing development, Mac. So Elysian is an investor in the redevelopment fund. Looks that way. Are we done here, Mac? I've got work to do. Sure, buddy. Thanks for your help. Elysian are investors in the Suburban Redevelopment. So what? If you think I'm putting my pension on the line and harassing Leland Monroe 